Hi and welcome to this printed.com tutorial on how to add bleed in InDesign. My name's Dan and I'm going to show you through the process. Bleed is an area of print outside the document that's trimmed after printing. It's there as a precaution to make sure there's no white space left on the document after it's trimmed. When preparing a document for print, it's really important to make sure the image extends right to the edge of the bleed and that any text is set at a safe distance from the trim line. If you're making a new document in InDesign, you'll want to customise the bleed on the first screen. Click File, New, Document and make sure the bleed options are visible at the bottom of this window. To add bleed, type 3mm into the first box. At printed.com we use 3mm of bleed on all our documents. Make sure this chain link is clicked, it puts an equal value in all the boxes. Click OK. If you've already made a document and you want to add bleed to it, click File, Document Setup, make sure bleed options are visible and type 3mm into the first box. Again, make sure this chain link is clicked. It puts equal values in all the boxes. Click OK. To check if your bleed's been added, press W to show and hide the document guides. The bleed is indicated by a red line that runs around the document. It's really important to make sure any images run right up to the edge of this line, like this. Once your document is ready for print, you'll want to export it as a PDF. To export it, go to File, Export, or press Ctrl E or Command E on the Mac. In the export window, make sure Adobe PDF for print is selected from the drop down menu. Type in a file name and save. In the next window, you can customise the way your PDF is saved. For print, we recommend the PDF X1A 2001 preset. Click on the Marks and Bleeds tab on the left hand side to show the bleed options. As we've already set the bleed, we can tick Use Document Bleed Settings. At printed.com we also like to include crop marks. To include them, tick the checkbox. Once you've set all your options, click Export. Make sure your PDF is exactly how you want it before sending it off. There should be crop marks in the corners and the bleed should be visible at the edges. If you've checked your PDF, your document's now ready for print. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this tutorial useful.